Hi, today we're going to be doing a little bit of arts and crafts and making a little hovercraft. But before then, roll the intro. A hovercraft, despite looking like quite a complicated piece of machinery, actually runs on some pretty simple physics. All that we need in order to recreate a hovercraft is a CD, a sports drink lid and a balloon. We're going to start by preparing the sports drink lid. This lid has got a very annoying little valve inside of it. This is going to get in our way later on and it needs to be removed. The way in which we're going to do this is by heating up the end of a small screwdriver. Please make sure for this that you are or are with a responsible adult. The screwdriver is then pressed around inside the valve. The heat should remove some of the structural integrity of the connection between the plastics. After that, it should simply lever out. Now that that has been cleared, we need to thread our balloon through the hole. This can be a bit fiddly, but with practice it should be able to be pulled through. We now have our air delivery system. This now needs to be attached to the CD with hot glue or your adhesive of choice. Once that's down, press it in place to ensure a nice airtight seal and then leave it to dry. Once that is dried, the balloon needs to be inflated. And then clamped shut with the handy hinged lid. We can now test it out. As soon as the lid is open, air rushes underneath the CD, cushioning it from the friction of the desk, allowing it to easily slide around the desk until the air runs out. This is the exact same mechanism that allows the puck on an air hockey table to slide around but with the airflow coming in the opposite direction. And sadly that does bring us to the end, but thank you very much for watching. Please do share, like and subscribe and join us next week where we're going to be revisiting the idea of trying to melt a flake. But until that time, thank you very much once again. Please do share, like and subscribe and carry on learning. Bye.